Suge Knight's been in the news. Uh, and this I didn't see this coming. Like I, this caught me off guard. But it's reported that he's officially signed over his life rights to Ray J, uh, with the expectations that the singer reality star will make some lucrative deals for him on the outside that include uh, this includes but isn't limited to film projects tv shows books and more so i guess he's going to trust you know ray j with his story to go out and try to get a bag um i don't know if i missed something on that connection the ray j connection ray j out here hustling got a lot of products out here so i'm not you know gonna say it's necessarily a terrible choice but i don't see the connection there maybe i missed something I you know think they've always been they always cool. been cool or something. Okay. Um, like when they was coming up. I mean, of course, he was real young back then. Right. But I think he's always been kind of in his circle somewhere. Yeah. Possibly, just a friend of the family type thing. So I, I can see it. It makes sense. Yeah. He dated Whitney Houston. Who? Ray J. They was real yeah, they, cool. Yeah, was, I don't know if they dated. I guess people were calling it. Yeah, but they dating, I know they was really it cool. Was real, yeah, it was real tight. He had to been mad young. Yeah. Well, Ray I mean, J. he was he was old enough. Who's his, who's his sister? When she Brandy. died. Brandy. Yeah, yeah. She, she died, what, what, what 10 years ago, maybe? Nah, has it been that long? Let me see. Damn near. Hmm. Because Ray J, he's about our age. He's 38. Yeah, yeah so it would have been about 28, 30. Yeah, Whitney passed... 2012. Okay, so seven. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, he's dipping and diving a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I know they was they was good friends. I do know that because uh, Whitney actually had taken Brandy under her arm for a while. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the Mm -hmm. Suge thing was different now. Yeah, you know, I but. I, I will say Ray J has his hands in a lot of you know business ventures and stuff like that, which appear to be Bops. at least on the surface, <laughs> on the surface successful. So, mm-hmm. you know, but suppose we were talking about um, this as well prior to coming on, just the fall of Suge Knight. When you think about the apex of Death Row, you know what I'm saying, coming on the way down to where he is now, and you brought up a good point about other people that have been in similar positions who didn't. Go down that path when you yeah. think about Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? You think about Diddy, people like that. Master P. Master P. That's another Tony good Draper. one. Good call. I'm trying to figure out what do you think? Like, I don't know what's the difference. Like, obviously, choices. Like, we make choices as adults, man. But if you think about it, Death Row's been bigger than, I don't know, man. Could you say? No, I would say. Unless I'm tripping, they're bigger than No Limit. They're bigger than Rap A Lot. They were bigger than what? Suave house, you know what I mean? Like to fall that far. Their operation crazy. got them in trouble though. Yeah. Like even okay. uh when Dr. Dre and uh Snoop speak on mm-hmm. things that happen in Death Row Records. Yeah. Like seeing people dragged in there and beat up and uh embarrassed. You like even that scene on uh this has nothing to do with with uh Death Row, but I could see it probably happening. What's that? You remember in um uh, state property. Oh man! Remember the state property uh, when they made do roll up. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that probably happening in Death Row. Felt like Rockets. a semi corny scene. <laughs> it was. Movie, yeah. It was. But I could probably see some dumb shit like that happening. It. The Death reason. Row Rockets. The reason why I'm laughing is because I heard Suge Knight allegedly made someone drink urine. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely heard well, that allegedly. He hung. Allegedly hung vanilla ice over a banister and made him yeah. sign over the rights to Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> That's tough. Mm. I mean, I mean, I think think the I don't path think it was that he over got rights, into it was it was some he ended up having he didn't to pay, pay the producer. Yeah, he had to pay something. But I mean, I think it's just a path that Suge was taking and representing that pretty much screwed him, and he never broke out of that character per se, because the last thing that pretty much put the nail in the coffin for him was on the set of the NWA movie, Straight Outta Compton. Mm. He rolled, ran over somebody and killed them. Yeah. On the set of the movie. Yeah. He's not even in the movie. Yeah. There's a whole story, if you like, go online about why he was there and the people that were there. And the guy he ran over, like, he knew him. Like, yeah. He didn't want to do that, but he thought his life was in danger, supposedly. Mm-hmm. And It's wild, dude. When I was young... <clears throat> 
and I guess really, really getting into hip hop, Death Row was it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. Dre, Snoop, 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 Tupac, Daz Corrupt, you know, Lady of Rage, yep, Suge on you know at the head of it. But yeah, the big psych. <laughs> See, you can't take it. You can't take him anywhere. Man. It's not for the big psych. I don't know if he was an official Death Row member or not. Daddy boy. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle A. Rest in peace, big psych, too. I think he passed away. So I'm much not mistaken. trouble in the world. Come on, man. Can't nobody feel my pain. But no, just to see like it all kind of dismantle and like, like Suge's lived, I feel like, a couple of lives, man. You know what I man. mean? Like, like, like from being, sh- you know, obviously shot at in a car with Tupac to. Mm. Being shot at another time to to getting beat up by a barber dude. Yep, to getting that's knocked tough. out at the club. And that's yeah. we, didn't, we didn't even mention Nate Dog either. Oh, Nate Dog, rest Warren in G. peace. Yeah. yeah, Warren G was never on death row. He was no, affiliated, he wasn't. affiliated though. Nope. Affiliated, but yeah. yeah, it was. I don't think Nate Dog well, was maybe on Nate death wasn't, row either. Maybe Nate wasn't either. Then maybe not. He just was all over. Yeah. I mean, countless I mean, he was the hook king. Yeah. Period. Like yeah. over the whole music industry back then. Yeah, but. Uh, but yeah, no, just to see it all, obviously with the death of Tupac, you know, Dre leaving, Snoop leaving, you know, they you know, tried to re have a resurgence, you know, didn't really happen. But you know, all those things we just mentioned with Suge culminating to this like visit that was supposed to be from what I've like read or listened to, like someone calling him to the set of the movie to talk to Dre to have like a a truce or a peace meeting or like a Let's put this all behind us, and it obviously didn't happen that Ooh, way. Oh, you almost had it. Got to be quicker than that. Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, and then when you, you know, you read about the stories of other people like a Jay Prince or, you know, you, you, you know, see the career of a Diddy, you're like, man, like, it's so wild how things can just go left. Like, I bet you wish he was dancing in them videos now. Man. <laughs> wow. I'd give how anything to dance that? in a video. Man. So that's what he in prison saying right now. I mean, Has- Has- Hasbro Hasbro owns right now Death Row. The Death Row, all the Death Row music, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the catalog. What man? Sorry, that's just funny. Oh man. You might see some Transformers or GI <laughs> Joes like- and <laughs> some Death Row attire. If you think about it, though, <laughs> that's that's a pretty damn good catalog. If yeah. you think about just to Tupac own? alone, yeah, the joints that he did there. Um, God damn, they on the rice Tupac shit, man. Has bro, all eyes on yep. me. It's so funny. Believe so, bro. All eyes on me is like well, we know how how iconic that album is. Like, what does Hasbro do nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're still in the toy game or what. Because <laughs> I mean, they did make some of the greatest toys. Mm-hmm. Spe- especially and then some shit was just shit. I can't really talk on it because I don't know anything about it or much about it. But some shit was just in the news not too long ago about like Harry O, and who was like the dude who kind of founded mm-hmm. Death Row, really, mm-hmm. um, and like his wife and some big settlement they were supposed to get, but it didn't end up happening, and mm-hmm. a bunch of other shit. But it's been it's been a mess, man. Cash broke out their money. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Go ahead, Law. No, it's just. It- just reading the headlines, I didn't know about this. Apparently, it just happened too. Yeah, but it's just I guess, it's funny that a toy company would own Death Row. Yeah, but so back to to Ray J. So yeah. I guess, I mean, if he's connected like that, I mean, I think I'd go see a Suge Knight movie. That's what I was about to say. I I would, I would be down to watch that because we we saw, you know, more than a teriyaki movie. You think? Uh, Takashi? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh hands down. Yeah, I don't want to go see a Takashi movie. <laughs> I'll be Got honest. The <laughs> the <blicky-a. laughs> Stupid. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm he's going to remove bleeding. all his tattoos, and he's going to become like a. Who's playing Suge Knight? Who is playing Suge Knight? They'll find somebody. Probably the same dude that plays Suge Knight in one of them damn movies. Yeah. Who plays Straight Suge Knight? Uh, yeah. Who plays Terry or uh, Takashi? Um. Leguizamo, Bobby, Bobby Lee, Leguizamo, probably Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. I, I hate no, him, he's gonna man. be too busy playing Marvin, Marvin yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. in blackface. At that, yeah, I can't believe that. Better not happen at all in life.